Hi, welcome back to ODE YouTube channel. Today I'm here for another collection overview video, another video with a theme. So the theme for today is pens with which are made of wood. So wooden pens, that's what I'm going to show you. I have 10, I guess, pens to show you. So let's see. First pen that I want to show you, that I have, is this one. This pen is kind of a school pen, made by this brand, which is called Divine Design. It is a brand that is from Germany, and it's, it's a very simple pen, a school pen. It was sent to me some time ago by the Spanish distributor of this brand in Spain, which is called uh, Divine, which is called Zix Ideas, and here you see the barrel is made of wood, but the cap is made of plastic. It has this very big steel nib, but very very springy. And then you have a simple nib, as you can see there, and then it's like this. It is a cartridge pen with this rubberized section that reminds us the section of the Perkeo, but the Perkeo, the Caveco Perkeo is not rubberized and it has also a triangular shape grip. So this is obviously made for a school public. Now, we go we travel a little bit to China, which is the biggest provider of pens for this video. And we start with Jinhao. And about Jinhao, I have a couple of pens. I have this one, which is the Jinhao 51A. It is a pen with a steel cap with a clip that has the Jinhao logo there and then it ends in a ball, but it is in the style of the Parker 51. These pens have in common to have a black section and then the barrel is usually made of plastic, but there are these barrels that are made of wood. This is quite well made. These pens are really good to write with and very inexpensive. And they come in several colors of plastic, some nicer acrylic also, and also in wood. There are three tones of wood, I guess. I have only two of them here. This, there is this one also, the same pen with the hooded nib, very similar to a Parker 51. And here you have a pen that looks like the same, and it is the same model, the Jinhao 51A, but this one instead of a hooded nib, it has an exposed number 5 nib. And this pen is also quite good. And I think this is something interesting to do. A pen with two styles of nibs, which is nice for you to choose. Because some people not like exposed nibs, some people like hooded nibs. And this way there is something for everyone. Now. Now, let's go for, sorry, let me just align them, uh, it's not easy, let's go for the, the next pen, and the next pen is also from China, and it is a pen that I think it's quite nice, although it has just, just a little problem, and that pen is this one, I like this pen a lot, it is beautiful, this is the Moonman M. Eight. Moonman M8 is made of, there are several woods, this is, I think this is one that has the natural color, and this is a wood that has these very uh, visible veins, and they call it tiger wood. And it is nice, because you can see all these details, it has a big number 6 Moonman nib, fine nib, that I really, I really like these nibs, 
They may be a little bit on the drier side, but I like those kind of nibs. It takes cartridge or converter, very nicely made, however. This pen tends to dry a little bit inside the cap, so the nib sometimes has hard starts when it, it is left kept for some time. I think just because the seal inside the cap is not the, that perfect, it's not very airtight and then the, the ink evaporates and it gets dry. I'm struggling here without the, with the alignment of these pens that are always falling apart. The cap was not well put into this one. Okay, now let's go for the next pen also from China and also from Moonman. And this is a pen that is more on the expensive side. It is more on the 50 euros uh, price point. And this Moonman is clearly a replica of the Montblanc Lobrac. And it has the same rivets, the same patterns, the rivets in the wood. There are three colors available for this wood. This I call the walnut color. I'm not sure if this is walnut or not. It is a Moonman pen, it says Moonman. So it's not a fake Montblanc, it's just a copy. It has this pearly thing, not the Montblanc logo. All made of wood, very well made. I like it a lot. It has just a little, some places not perfectly aligned, but it is overall well made. It has a shiny metal section, which may not be for everyone but the pen fits in the hand perfectly. It's quite heavy, I like it a lot. Doesn't post. Some people will complain, but it would be too heavy to, to post. And I don't think all the pens should post, that's my opinion. And it has a very nice bock nib. And this bock nib, generic bock nib, is one of the best that I ever tried. I like a lot to write with this pen. Also the extra weight, I think it makes it more makes it nicer to write with. It takes cartridge or converter pen or converter. This is an amazing fountain pen. Very, very good. I like the feel of the wood and these rivets are just a little bit, I think you can see, just a little bit raised. And I have to say that I like the tactile sensation of using it. About the color, it used to look a little bit more dull when it was brand new. It's quite recent in my collection, but it was when I got it, it was uh, on the dull side. Now, I think maybe with the oils from the hands and so on, it's a little bit darker and a little bit shinier, and I like it. Now, we jump from Germany, China to Italy. And in Italy, we have a collection of pens from Monte Grappa. Monte Grappa some years ago made this collection, which was called Hardwood. This is the Monte Grappa Fortuna, because this is the Fortuna model, and the collection was called Hardwood. It was made, there were pens made of wood, and I guess there were five pens, five different woods. I got three from Monte Grappa for review. I made the review so you can check them some some time ago. And one nice thing about these pens is that they are made of wood, obviously. This is the hardwood teak and it is a, a dark uh, finish for the teak because the teak is usually more on the red side. And then you have all the trim of the pen is bronze color and it is really nice. Here you can see it has this section that's common to all the, the Fortuna brand uh, line and you see these large threads and even the nib is bronze color and this is very very nice. These nibs are the older uh, style of nibs that Montegrappa used to have, now they use Yovo nibs. This is a beautiful pen, very very dark, almost black, cartridge converter pen from Montegrappa. They are no longer available, I'm lucky to have three, but this one will have a new home very soon 
and I guess I will be selling even another one and keeping just one of those. These threads are really nice because the pen, uh, it threads well, it, they are very large, and they are not sharp if you hold the pen over the thread. Here is the hardwood and the color of this one is pear wood, uh, which is a rather reddish uh, color with also the bronze trim everywhere, the same kind of nib, the same kind of section. This is the same pen, just in a different color. And I like it. And I said I have three. The next one is this one. Beautiful one. This is my favorite because this is the walnut. And I think I like the color of walnut. I like this more um, warm brown colors. And the same thing. The same pen. Different wood. But it is the same thing. And here it is. This is the Hardwood collection. There is also a light teak, which is like the natural color of teak. And there is even the olive. And the olive has silver trim instead of bronze trim. And it is a beautiful pen. But I was not fortunate enough to have one of those. And if I had, I had to choose if my favorite would be the walnut or the olive. And finally, we end in Germany. We started in Germany and we end in Germany again with this beautiful pen. I love this pen. I've showed you this before many times. This is the Graf von Faber-Castell Classic and this is the Ebony. It is a very dark wood, almost black also, like that Monte Grappa. It has the silver plated cap that is as tarnished uh, with time. I bought it used. It, it was already tarnished there. There are little small cracks on the wood. I, I think I got quite well to rehydrate a little bit the, the barrel that was very dry and was starting to crack. I think now the, the wood is better in my knowledge and we have this long metal section also a metal shiny section and then you have a number five it's just a little sad that Grafon Faber Castell makes these uh, number five nibs instead of bigger ones for these pens with the Grafon Faber Castell logo this is the, I think an older one they use now a different one and this nib is very good a fine nib writes well it takes international cartridge or converters and it is a beautiful and expensive pen. Um, these four are quite expensive. This is the most expensive of all. Unless these are getting a little bit more expensive because they are getting more uh, hard to find. And this is a beautiful pen. I really like this pen a lot. I like the way it has aged and I could buy it because I bought it in second hand. So this is my wooden pen collection. I have to say I'm not a big fan of wood pens just because they are made of wood. I, I'm don't, I don't rush into them but I got these at a good price because it was used. This was a gift from the Zix Ideas. Uh, these two I bought from China, also these three, and these ones were given to me by Monte Grappa some years ago when they collaborated with the channel. And so they are nice collections. I don't see my wooden pen collection to increase in the future. I think uh, otherwise it will start reducing. So this is all I had to show you. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope to meet you soon here again on the channel. So bye!